What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna go over a bunch of off-road lighting upgrades and kind of dive into the tech behind it. So first off, let's start off with the lights. A lot of people have been asking, what lights do I have on the front of the Gladiator? I've had these for what, what would you say, a month now? Yeah, about a couple weeks, yeah. Couple weeks, everybody's wondering how they are, how do I like them, how bright they are. And we're gonna talk about that and more in this video. We're gonna dive into white versus amber LED lighting. Look at different beam patterns. Beam patterns, all that good stuff, and kind of talk about high-end performance off-road lighting for your Jeep. Let's go check out what we have in the bed of the Jeep. Let's go. So many new toys. So many new lights. Here we have a bunch of goodies from Baja Designs. There's all kinds of stuff here. This is gonna make a great video to show you guys all of the differences. So I wanna start off by saying Baja Designs did send all of these to us for the JK, the LJ, and the Gladiator. Wait, where's the LJ? Oh, we'll, ta know. we'll talk about, we'll that, talk later. about that later. So they're also gonna hook you guys up with a 10% off discount code, and it's kind of cheesy. It's, uh, what is JK, it, JK Gear? No, it's J-K-G-A-G. G-A-G. J-K Gag. <laughs> it is what it is, 10% off. So let's take a look at what we got here. So the front, I should have already said this, up front we're running the Baja Design LP6s. Just like this, but they're the amber driving combo. And they are so bright. They're like, insanely when we're bright. we're running them and we turn them off, it's like we can't even see anything with the normal headlights. They, when, when they're on, you, you can't even see that your headlights are on. Right. They overpower them so much. They are fantastic lights. And we're gonna show you that here in this video. Now, what we're doing here is these are gonna go on the JK so we can have a side-by-side -side comparison. These are the Baja Design LP6 white LED spotlights. On the Gladiator, we have the amber driving combo. So we're gonna go into all this later, but let's check out what we got. We have some of the S2 pods, the LP6s, the squadrons, both in amber and white. The white ones are definitely a, uh, these are the cornering, so it's more of a fog light, whereas these ambers have the spot and the cornering lights. I think they call that a, uh, that's a driving combo. It's a mix of both. We have some covers here to see what the difference is between, you know, a covered lens versus an actual amber lens. And then we have some other little S2 pods here. We're gonna install all of these on the Jeeps and really dive into what the difference is in all of these lights and is it needed to go with very expensive lights. I'm not gonna sit here and try to push you guys and say, oh, you need thousands of dollars of worth of lights on your Jeep because you It'll know it's not you true. Better. It's it's not gonna make you off-road better, but there's a ton of people that really want the best lighting for their Jeep. And I think this is gonna be it. We're gonna find out. We're gonna do a bunch of comparisons, really put these to the test. So the first test we have to do is a test very similar to what we did with our $10 Amazon LED pods. The water test. Let's go yes. fill up, let's go fill up a bucket. Which one? Do we do amber? So let's do one that has a already made harness. I think this one looks like a good one. Grab it. Let's go fill up a bucket of water and dunk test it. Before we start talking about how great these lights are, let's make sure that they survived the test that the $10 Amazon LED lights stood up to. Right there, pink. Boop. GoPro dunk test. <laughs> survived. Yeah. All right. Well, looks like it works. No bubbles. It's working, no bubbles. How long do we wait? Baja Designs actually uses a really nice sealing system. They have O-rings and we'll take one apart in a little bit to show you how this seals up. The lenses are interchangeable, so if you want a different beam pattern, you're good to go. So I think it's safe to say that these are... Uh, they're waterproof. They're waterproof. Yeah. Keep it for a little bit. Give it a few more seconds. I mean, that's the longest my Jeep's ever gonna be underwater. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, so that's it. Well, we are good to go. So the next step, I guess, is just to start installing lights so we can kind of see what they look like at night and do some comparison. So here is the LP6s on the Gladiator. These are six inch and they're the amber driving combo. The ones that are going on the JK are gonna be the white spotlight. So I'm really excited to see how these actually compare at night, you know, and show you the difference between amber within itself and then a difference between a driving combo light and a spotlight. Ellie, Ellie wants us to watch her. Are you an airplane? Wow, that's fast. All right, so step one, let's get these on the JK. Kind of figure out where we want to mount them, drill the hole, get those on there. What are you thinking? Like a similar spot? Um, yeah, I mean, we 
we could put it front and center right there. <laughs> a nice little uni, little unilite. Ellie, come help. Do you want to come help? What do you think? In there, be up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's going to look good. Look I'm going to get these mounted up. We'll start wiring them up. Right, Ellie? One of the most important parts when it comes to installing LED lighting for off-roading is deciding where you're going to mount them. In my mind, the best spot to mount lights to project forward is going to be on your front bumper. There's a few things we really want to make sure before we actually install this light. First thing, we want to make sure that we're not going to block the view of the light. If I installed it right here, half the light output is going to be blocked by our bull bar. We also have to make sure that if we have a winch, let's say I mounted it right here, we're going to run into interference issues when it's time to operate our winch. So what I'm going to have to do is kind of get a little creative, mount it right here, which means we have to drill through our bumper and the frame and still have access to the nut. But with it right here, we're not blocking our turn signal, we're not blocking our light, we're not blocking anything from the forward projection of this light, and we can still operate our winch as designed. So let's mount the light. What do you think? Looks good. I like them. At those, good those look good. They do. Really good. Wow. That is a that is a sexy it's, Jeep. It, it, that is a sexy Jeep, and those are some sexy light, those are some sexy do. lights too. So I went ahead and put a nice little fresh layer of uh, paint on the bumper, just the top because it was a little bit a uh, little bit janky looking. But man, that is looking good. Let's get the other one on and see what it looks like. So we just installed two super bright LED spotlights on the front of the bumper. This is gonna be a great setup, you know, when it's really dark and we wanna put the light out as far as possible. But how do we create the perfect off-road, you know, lighting scenario in a perfect world? We're gonna add some more lights. So next thing we're gonna talk about is some Squadron Pros. So these are gonna replace my rigid lights on the A-pillar and we're doing this for a few reasons. Number one, because they sent them to me. Number two, it's a better light. So as you can tell here, the rigid has one LED. Actually, I guess there's like, there's like three micro LEDs in there. We'll compare the differences later. But my biggest thing is that this is a driving combo. So we have two spotlights and we have two kind of wide angle lights. What this is gonna do naturally is give us an amber light. So we now have a set of really high powered white spotlights and some amber lights up here. The amber lights are gonna cut, you know, cut through the fog, the snow, rain, dust, all that stuff, as well as offer us some extra side lighting here. This is where we're gonna get a lot of our peripheral off-road lighting. You will see that later. So I don't wanna to talk too much. This part is mainly installing, getting everything on. However, I kinda of wanted to explain why we're about to put these on there. You'll see later. I think this is gonna be a really good setup. And I'll explain even more on, you know, should you get really bright white lights or really bright amber lights? We'll figure that out here in a little bit, but we're gonna get those on. First thing, Cassie wants to take the kids to the park, so we're gonna go hang out for a little bit, but we're gonna finish up this install tonight. So I know at this point we're like eight or nine minutes into this video and I've yet to show you the light output. However, I really did want to show you kind of kind of like the install on getting these lights in. I'm not gonna show you too much of the wiring because if I did that on each of these lights, this video would be like an hour and a half long. There's one more thing I really want to show you guys real quick just because it's special when pertaining to the LP6s. So the LP6 lights use a Deutsch connector, looks like douche connector. It is a four pin connector that is very easy to do yourself. You can buy the wiring harness if it looks a little too scary for you, but let me show you a clip real quick on how to wire this up. The first thing we're gonna do is strip back our wiring. I went with a four conductor wire. The four connections are for a high beam, a low beam, ground, and the backlight. You can choose to do any of them 
you know you don't have to have the low beam you don't have to hook up the the backlight i chose to do the high beam the ground and the uh backlight in the future i'll probably do the the low beam but personally i just want the maximum light for off-road use now to actually wire up this connector all we have to do is strip back our wires and we grab our connector and put it on the wire we're going to kind of crimp it on the actual conductor of the wire itself and then the other tabs crimp over on the actual the the plastic or rubber compound of the wire that's what kind of holds it from pulling out once that's done we slide them in the designated spots and then clip the wire in so as you can tell it's definitely not a hard install it's very easy to wire up yourself and if we need to in the future we can change it around without having to buy new connectors it's one of the great thing about these connectors the waterproof the rebuildable overall it's a really good design a lot of military stuff uses them that's what i use at work so it's a very foolproof design so I guess it's finally time. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the lights at night and then we'll start comparing them. So starting off, we'll start off with the Amber Driving Combo LP6 lights. We'll now move over to the LP6 white spotlights. Now we have the Amber Driving Combo Squadron Pros, the wide cornering white Squadron Pros, and then the Squadron Pros with the Amber lens cover gonna move around here to the reverse lights which we use the s2 pods on the jk we had the amber driving combo s2 pros and then we had the driving combo white s2 sports on the gladiator so as you just saw all the lights are completely different they all have different colors different intensities different beam patterns and depending on where you put them is going to depend on how much light it puts out and where it puts out Clearly the LP6s are the brightest of them all. It is insane how bright they are. So the next thing we're gonna kind of talk about is, let's do white versus amber. That's a great discussion. So the amber lights really, really scatter the light and it's a unique looking light. It's easy on the eyes. It really fills in all the gaps. And honestly, I really do like how it looks better. Now, when it comes to white lights, they're kind of what you would expect. They're really bright. They cast the light out there and it just looks like daylight. It's a little harder on the eyes at night. I will say that I'm a bigger fan of the Amber LP6s. There's two reasons. I'm a big fan of the Amber light and I do like the driving combo better. As you can tell, the two bottom LED lights have that kind of scattered pattern and the rest are spots. This driving combo LP6, it puts the light where it needs to be. It's not all in one direction. It's really scattered out. It's a very, very perfect lighting system you know you have all that upfront lighting and we still do have some in the distance paired with the amber light it's a great setup now for the lp6s in the white spotlights these things really did a good job pushing the light way out there while still giving us some light right around the edges it didn't fill in all of the area as well as the amber driving combo did but these things are going to be really really good out in wide open spaces or trails where we really need to see far so my recommendation between this setup the white spots or the amber driving i would prefer the amber driving it gives us a better light output a little slower speed so off-roading on the trails these are going to be better and then on the road in foggy conditions these things are going to shine you know they're going to outperform the white spotlight so i'll let you guys make your own judgment on which lights you like better we're going to move over to the amber squadron pros now the reason I went with Amber up on the A pillars is because we just added some really bright white lights. The Amber Squadron Pros are gonna kind of fill in what these don't. It is a great setup having the Amber up there in the driving combo and spotlights down here. I'll show you a clip of both of these combined. So the Amber really fills in all the gaps that these kind of didn't light up. These are pushing the light really far forward and those Amber ones are definitely filling in the gaps. Now for the wide angle lenses that we put on the LJ, as you can tell, this is just a temporary wiring job. We're gonna knock that out later. These Squadron Pros in the wide angle are very, very impressive. Yeah, this is probably one of my most favorite. If, you know, if we're only doing one light on a Jeep, I really did like these. It's a very, very good beam pattern. It just spreads it out. There's no crazy shadows. The light's evenly distributed and you kind of see everything. This isn't gonna be the best for high speed stuff, but just your normal trail riding, these are definitely the ticket. Now. If you're unsure if you want white or amber, that's where these lens covers come into play. We did a test and 
the lens covers definitely do change the color output. It does not seem to be the exact same color output as the designated amber lenses. However, it is really close. And the good thing is that we can interchange it without really negatively affecting the light output. It's gonna protect the lens over time and they're easily replaceable and they're pretty cheap. Plus, if you don't know if you want amber or white, it's a good solution. So I know we just went over a lot really quick. I do wanna get these out on the trails and we'll probably do another video actually showing you on the trails what the differences look like. However, in this video, I'm kind of running short on time, making a trip up to Massachusetts uh, this weekend. I'm excited to show you guys what we're up to. Now let's take a look at some other things we did on the Gladiator. I went ahead and added some Amber S2 Sports up here. These are the wide angle. This is gonna be great for camping or just off-roading when we wanna have a lot of light out here to the side, mostly for camping, setting up the tent, you know, cooking, hanging out by a fire. Puts out a lot of light. These really easy to attach. I just used a bracket and attached it here to uh, my homemade roof rack or not roof rack, bed rack. I installed one on both sides and I tied it in to my switch panel that I made over here. So yes, we do have to get in the bed to access those lights and turn them on and off. No big deal because most of the time when I'm gonna wanna use these, we're already gonna be outside of the Jeep. Now for the reverse lights. The S2 Pros bolted right onto my rear bumper and I tied them into the reverse lights on the JK. Pretty much directly bolt on. On the Gladiator though, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be very interested on how I made this setup. Now I took the red reflectors that were in the factory bumper, I took them out and actually designed a template with some pretty thin sheet metal from Home Depot. I made a cutout very similar to the red reflector, drilled the holes. I made a cutout for the S2s and then I wired them both in to my seven pin trailer harness. Very easy install. I did have to weld a tab for the mount to sit in on the actual backing plate that I made. So it's not the easiest project to do, but honestly, it wasn't too hard. It's very cheap and I think it turned out really good. Both of those reverse lights are extremely bright. A Little bit overkill for reverse lights. No, there's no cutout. So if I pop it in reverse, those lights are coming on. I don't know, we'll see, we might change that. I might make a cutout switch. That way, if we're going to the mall, I don't blind, you know, a Karen and, uh, you know, have her start yelling at me in her minivan. So <laughs> we'll see. But overall, kind of wrap this video up. Lighting is, it's, it's a weird topic. You know, some people will say, oh, you need to get something very cheap. They all just put out light. How often do you need them? And that's, I'm not gonna tell you that you need expensive lights or you need cheap lights. It's up to you and I'll leave that decision to you. However, I will say that the difference in expensive lights and cheap lights is astronomical. I do also wanna say that in these videos, it's not what it looks like in person. You know, I'm pulling my camera out to record this light output and it looks decent on camera, but in person, it's a huge difference. If you ever see somebody with a set of really nice lights like Baja Designs, definitely check them out in person and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, real quick, before we leave, I wanna show you guys the difference between my old 50 inch light bar and just a set of the LP6s. So as you can tell, the LP6 has actually put out pretty much the same, if not more lighting output than a 50 inch light bar. Granted, they are a lot more expensive, but they look better and they're gonna perform a lot better. So what lighting setup would I recommend after all of this? If I was only to choose one set of lights, it would be these, the Amber Driving Combo LP6s. If you're not a fan of the Amber, I would go with the white Driving Combo as well. I'm a big fan of the Driving Combo. It just really puts out the light exactly where you want it to be. And if you do go with white, if you do wanna add additional lighting, I would recommend a set of amber lights, kind of the opposite of what you have already. So if you go with the driving combo on the bumper, go with a spotlight up there, kind of vice versa. If you go with a spotlight up here, go with the driving combo up there, kind of mix both worlds together and it really fills in and creates a perfect lighting system. So like I've already mentioned, Baja Design is gonna hook all you guys up. I wouldn't say hook you guys up, but they're offering a discount code, 10% off all of Baja Design lights, anything on their website, 10% off using the code JKGAG, JKGAG. So I think we're gonna have to close this video up. I have to start packing and getting ready for a trip. We're going to install some really cool parts. I'm excited to start the next video series for you guys. So stay tuned. This video is coming to a close. Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments what you are running on your Jeep. What kind of lights? Are they rigid? Are they Baja Designs? You know, there's a lot of lights, Vision X. 
Amazon pods. There's so many different ones. Let me know what you're running in the comments, how you like them, and kind of overall your feedback on them in general. See you guys later. Actually, probably see you tomorrow. We're going to start up a cool project. Peace.